Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low-budget wonder. Now check this out. Start out with some finely sifted flour. Then add your yeast, some salt, a little bit of sugar, and some baking powder. And you want to mix all these dry ingredients together first. Then you're going to come back and add some yogurt. And then a little bit of milk. And I like to get in there with a fork first, make sure everything gets wet before I get sticky. Then I'll come back in with my hands. And when it looks like this, I move it to the counter with a little bit of flour just to keep it from sticking and I'll start to knead it. A good five to ten minutes worth. Once the dough gets shiny and stretchy like this, you want to just throw it back in your bowl, throw a towel over it, and put it in a warm place for a couple hours so it can rise. When you come back to it, you should see that it's at least doubled in size. What you want to do is smash out all the air. Just knead it just a little bit more. I like to fold it in half a few times to make sure it's all out and pressed. And then I'll work it into a cylinder type shape. The reason why I do this is it helps to proportion it out. I start right in the middle and then in half and in half again. Again, some more flour and a perfect portion to start working out. I just smash it with my hand, roll it with my palm a little bit, and I'll work it with the roller so I can get it real thin. And this is about how thick you want it. Eighth to a quarter of an inch, maybe. But it's up to you. That's the way I like it. And I like to throw it on a grill or a hot pan if you prefer. Just on one side when it gets like this, you remove them and then you want to season them with some garlic. If you don't want the garlic you can just butter it and stop there. But if you take the garlic across the top of each piece like this, then throw down some coriander, then you're going to be set for the broiler. And you just throw those on a broiling pan and on a high broil, give it about a minute to a minute and a half until it looks like this. And you just work in the butter. Nothing to it. And there you have it. Non, right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.